For our practice at exercise 5.11, three heads, we're gonna write a method named three heads and it'll repeatedly flip a coin until three heads in a row are seen. So let's start this out with our method. It's going to be a public static void and it's called three heads, of course. And we do are not taking any parameters, so it doesn't seem like we're taking any, so we're gonna just bracket this off and come in here. So we are going to flip a coin until three heads in a row are seen. Now we want to use a random object to give an equal chance of a head and tail appearing. So let's make an instance of our random class. We have random, we'll call it r, is equal to a new random. That way we get our random here. We can end this line. Obviously we're also gonna need a counter to keep count of how many heads that we're gonna have. And we're going to end this after we get three heads in a row. So we're going to do int, and we'll just call it c, is equal to 0. Now with this done, we want to run this while our c does not equal to 3, right? So while our heads does not equal to 3. And if we want to make this a little bit more, just I guess easier to read, we can call this heads. So int head is equal to 0. That's how we started out. And we're going to run this while our head does not equal to 3, right? So 3 in a row. Each time our coin is flipped, we want to see what's displayed, so we're going to have to have a print line inside of here. Now, with this random instance, there's a couple things that we've done. So we've previously done like a r.nextInt, which gets the next integer, but what if we want the next random like boolean value? Because we know we want either a false or a true, right? We only want two things, so this is perfect for, for a boolean. If we had more instances, if we wanted to, if we had like a, like a dice, it wouldn't be very feasible to use a boolean because boolean is either a one or a zero. But here, we only have truth or ta ta heads or tails. And since we only have heads or tails, we're going to use a boolean to simplify this. So we'll do boolean, and we're going to call it random is equal to r dot next boolean. That way we get our next boolean. We're going to have two statements inside of here, and it's going to check if it is a heads or a tail. So if our random is equal to a false boolean we're going to be inside of here and we're going to do a system dot out dot print line we'll just do print because we want it all in the same line right and we're going to print inside of here the h and then we can end this otherwise oh and don't forget we also need to increment our head that way we eventually break out of this while loop and it doesn't run on forever so inside of here we're going to do head plus plus now, we're gonna have something similar for our else statement right below it. We're gonna have else, we can copy this print statement because inside of here, we're just going to print basically the same thing except instead of heads, we are going to have tails. And we want to reset our zero, right? Because it's asking us for three heads in a row. So that means our head is equal to zero. We end this line and we can end our else statement and then end our while loop. Now after this, we're gonna to want to print out three heads in a row. So we can come down here, we can paste the print statement that we have copied, copy this, and then just paste it in here. Now we should be able to just submit this and it'll contact the server and run our tests. We passed zero out of uh, three tests and that is because it looks like we printed all of these on the same row, which is not good. So let's try having before we before we have these three heads in a row because even if we do this print line it's not going to work because if we run it we're going to see it it's going to print the line afterwards so what we need to do before this an easy fix is just a slash n for a new line or we could do a system dot out dot print line above this and that will make it a new line and that's past three out of three tests and that's how we would run this code